Carl and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life, GBHBL.com for sure. And it's battle reaction times as I'm throwing a risk going out there because we're going to the rave, but we're going to a heavy fucking rave. We are doing Enter Shikari's Mothership. I've chosen this because Enter Shikari is going to be playing Slam Dunk 2023 and I am so fucking stoked. I've never seen this band live because I am not a fan these days. Now here's the important thing, right? This is so fucked up. I... Love Enter Shikari's debut album, Take to the Skies. I think it's one of my all-time favorite albums. I could play that album from beginning to end and love every single minute of it. There are a handful of tracks in it that I would consider some of my favorite tracks of all time. But I'm also aware that what came after has never really appealed to me that much. So that's why I never really got around to seeing them live. Now, here's the thing. I, in my head, I'm going to Slam Dunk and I'm going to hear all the songs from, from Take, Take to the Skies. Of course I'm not. But if I get one or two, I'll be fucking golden. But either way, it's a golden opportunity for me. And it's kind of reinvigorated my playing of this album recently with them being announced for Slam Dunk. So I've been putting it on a bit recently. And uh, I remember um, recently my wife was giving the old, oh, British car or shit thing. And I was like, no, you're going to sit there and I'm going to put the best songs they've got on. And you will sit there and you will change your mind, which, you, you know, kind of did, but can't force it, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like this is what this is one of my all time favorite songs. This is mothership. This is pure adrenaline for me. It's also an example. I would always pull up people and say, when they're like, oh, Shikari, just like um, techno and dance and stuff like that. And I'm like, they're really fucking not. You know, I realize nowadays they're a little bit more on the rock side than they are on the metal side. But back then, they could go fucking heavy. They could go hard. This is that track. This is one of those tracks anyway. So we're going to do mothership, basically. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Anything to say? <laughs> Um, I don't listen to Enter Shikari. I haven't listened to this album. I may there may be songs that I'm like I hear and I go, oh, is that then? There may be. There also yep. may not be. I kind of have like this recollection in my head that Enter Shikari are uh, a band I never listened to because they came out, and this is probably completely wrong. Okay, so I'm mm. saying like before everyone goes, oh, that's wrong. I know it's probably wrong. It's when you look back at things. In my yep. head, these guys were all out at the same time when I felt like music was going down the drain. Um, everyone was ranting about Enter Shikari, Bring Me the Horizon, Bullet for My mm. Valentine, You Me at Six, and all this collection of like the new wave of metalcore or, or whatever it was. I don't even know what it was. Now, I'm not saying that they are, but that's definitely what I lumped them in as. And I, like many of those bands, uh, I avoided them like the play. Interestingly, I also back in the day put parkway drive psychologically in that same category and i avoided them like the plague and obviously that's turned out Completely quite differently around. these days yeah. so you know that's that's quite interesting it, it goes to show how immensely wrong you can be sometimes so who knows i may be immensely wrong here but i can't help feeling two things actually one immensely sorry for your missus <laughs> for, for being put through that torturous scene that's how in my head is like you know she's she's tied there and you know <laughs> you've got headphones on her head and you're just blaring it louder and louder um uh, and then secondly i can't help feeling like i don't know this little sort of sense of dread <laughs> I have no words to add there. I have nothing to sort of try and sell us anymore. I think you could love it. Uh, I think you could like it, or I think you could absolutely hate it. Let's find out. It's uh, it's a fast and heavy one. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sorry, it ruined it.
you ready? Live, this is gonna be insane. So here's the thing, I mean, whatever you say, I'm going to disagree, so how about it? <laughs> anything I say, you're going to disagree with. Oh my God, that's no, amazing. actually, no, that, that, that's, yeah, that, 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 yeah, anything you're yeah. go on. <laughs> um, okay, I have issues. Fair dues. Things that I didn't enjoy. <clears throat> not, I'm not critiquing their abilities or anything like that, but things that I didn't enjoy. Uh, but I also had things that I did enjoy. Firstly, like my balance in line between that kind of like techno noe industrially stuff and metal mm. like i feel like i don't purposely do this but i feel like it's very very like um balanced like you know like like if you go slightly over it one way then it's either not like industrial enough if you go too far the other way it's not metal enough and like that that's kind of where where it sits you know i really do not enjoy that opening kind of beat sound dun, 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 yep. yeah i really don't like techno it bit, yeah um and it's so prominent in the early part of the song that it's all i hear mm. like, and, and the reason it's all i hear is because it starts with that if it starts with something else and then that comes in in the background of the verse i love it you start off with that now it goes into the verse that's all i can hear it's just that just that noise worming its way from my fucking head <laughs> and like so now they're doing other things now but it's still there and i still hear that fucking noise so i, I, I wish they hadn't started with that i wish it had started like in another way and then that had come in that would have probably made a big difference to me in the song for my personal taste because like i said i, I feel like the line is quite like it's it, it's it's a it's like a tightrope and uh you know like you lean one way and it's quite hardcore or techno or, or or you know you're getting the other way and it's like it's it's a difference between metal with a bit of like a you know, sort of techno-y backing or mm. being quite a techno-y song with a bit of metal backing. Yep. Now, the song is clearly a metal song. I'm not trying to say that, but that opening section from the intro and then into the first portion of the verse feels way heavier towards the techno-y side than it does the metal side because it starts with it. So that's my first thing. All right. Um, I'm aware that everyone's going to think I'm a dick for saying all this stuff, but that's fine. Dude who sings the line, I just fell from really fucking slowly <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the lyric i was i brought the lyrics up on another website just to, to make sure i could understand clearly what was being said yeah it helped very little i've no idea what the fuck they're talking about something to do with walking a plank and falling from a ship <laughs> but then before they were talking about mothership so i'm like oh they're on about aliens but then it yep. keeps going on about the ocean floor and walking the planks and i'm thinking they're pirates 
<laughs> but I don't think they're probably meant to be either. And maybe I'm not reading into it the way that I should do. Um, I did not like his voice at, at all. That first eye when he comes in, that is for me horrific. Now, wow. once I get past that, and then the heavier backing vocals come in, and there's a, it's not just him and his own going, ah, oh, like that, then I'm fine. Like, it's only a small moment when he goes, ah, oh, and I'm like, oh, like, you know. And, and also, I'm aware there's an age, like, not age of me, but the song isn't, isn't new. So, you know. No, 2007, yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, age can do things to it. So, um like uh, the, the other thing I've already kind of suggested anyway, it's just from the lyrical content perspective, I wasn't getting it. Um, that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with it. I just, I couldn't tell what they were trying to say. It's not a clear message to me. You go tell all your friends it's the end and it's, then they go on about a mothership and I'm like, all right, I'm on this now. Yeah. Okay, so they're going to get on the mothership because the world is ending. <laughs> then, he, <laughs> okay. then, he, then he fell off the mothership. Uh, and then he just kept going on about like walking the plank and all the answers were on the ocean ocean bed. Mm. And then I was like, oh, so you fell off the mothership into the water. I, I, but anyway, I was getting myself lost in it in a really confused thing. And then I was like, what is happening here? Because now in my head, I'm listening to a metal song about a dude who got sucked up in an alien ship, but then he fell off of it, landed in the ocean, and he found like loads of answers on the ocean bed. And I was like, what, what am I listening to here? And I know real, I, you know, I'm very aware that, you know, right, in the worst way possible i'm overthinking it with silliness and actually it doesn't matter that much but it does a little bit to me because i like lyrical just to you yeah and it's something that i find very very important there may be that if i'd heard this whole album it might be that then i would have understand more maybe there was stuff in other songs or if i knew the band better that actually i'd kind of know what they were about and then i'd get mm. the right message from the lyrical content but as a person who doesn't know the band doesn't know the album doesn't know the song i read the lyrics to this and I'm like, yeah, I'm not really getting it. You at one point went to me, oh my God, here it comes. This is, just imagine this live, uh, uh, slam dunk or whatever. And then nothing happened. What? Oh my God. No, I can't stand for, no, come on people. We cannot stand yeah, for but, that. And we'll scream with a thousand voices. Yeah, I but it was just that one thing. No, right. no, the, 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 the gang chant bit. The, and we'll scream with a thousand, and everyone just shouting, I right. am saved. That's Maybe it I has meant. more of an impact in a live environment or on a headphone environment or something like that because I just didn't feel like anything big happened. Fair I was enough. like, oh, something's going to happen. And then the song just carried on, you know, with like another thing. But he's shouting out, I am saying, while that's simultaneously telling me he fell out of a spaceship and landed in the ocean and found the answers on the ocean bed. I am saying, I'm thinking, like, are you sure, mate? <laughs> but um, yeah, so proper getting stuck in those lyrics. Yeah, I did. I did. I wish I hadn't read them, to be honest with you, because I probably I, I might have found more enjoyment. Like if I wasn't trying to follow it along, um, to be honest with you. So like, like obviously that's that's like a whole heap of negatives, yeah. Mm. Um, but there are positives too. Okay. Uh, I like the music outside. Yeah. Like like you know, even after that kind of first go tell all your friends that this is the end uh, section because that that yeah. was a bit that really annoyed. That, there wasn't that was anything wrong with it. I can see why people would like it, but for me, I was like, this is really annoying. They're saying the same line over and over again with that fucking techno beat there and then when that passage ended and it moved on i was like okay cool i could forget about that and then I, I enjoyed quite a lot of it there's lots of gang vocals which i quite like you know it kind of comes in and out of them a lot there's lots of different vocal tones i don't know if these are all different singers or if it's just people just jumping in and out you know that sort of thing but um you know like i said i didn't really enjoy that clean i just fell from the mothership like for the two reasons one did not like the way he did the eye <laughs> it's really stupid but i didn't <laughs> but i really found the pace of it really fucking irritating the way cause that that first line because in my head i'm expecting it to go i then just go just fell from the mothership or something like that and then it's just it's like i just and i was like fucking come on man spit it out jesus christ um, so yeah, like musically, I think there's some good drums and there's some good guitars in there. The the heavier vocals are good. The gang vocals are good. The clean vocals are good too. I just didn't like that line. That was it. Just that mm. one line. Everything else, I had no issue with at all vocally. They're very very good in that regard. Um, I did go to write it down, but it had gone past at the time. But there was one point in the song you'll probably know where it kind of switched up and became quite uh, a really cool kind of rhythm, a really cool beat. No, no, oh, no, that, no. Did, 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 yeah. Did, did, did. And I was it, like, I was, is... that I thought was fucking great. I really enjoyed that. I was like, oh, yeah, I think cool. I know the part you're talking about specifically. Yeah. 
yeah, I went to write it down, and then then he came back in and went, "Oh, I was like, fucking dude, throw me, throw me off now." But um, is it there t- tonight? I'm wide awake. Part tonight, I'm wide, I, wide awake. Dun, 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 it it dun, might dun, be, it might be, but it just kind of yeah. comes in, and the drums are quite prominent, and it kind of yeah, quite, I think it is. It's the part that. It. It's the part that goes into the, the and I'll plead with a thousand voices. The part that before that, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. So yeah, like it's one of those things, right? Like it's it, it's not anywhere near as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, and Shikari fans, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Mm. Which is a in a weird way a compliment <laughs> okay. um, because I was thinking like, God, it's gonna fucking suck, um, and it didn't suck at all. It's 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 actually an alright song. I would. If you were able to guarantee me they would play that song live, mm. I will come and watch them. Mm. Um, but like, you know, because <laughs> I think that could be fun live and, you know, that sort of thing. Um, or, or maybe I'll just have to listen to some more and see if I can find other songs that I like. Just listen to the whole Take to the Skies album. But the, but the problem is, is like you've already kind of alluded to, you know, they've moved on from that like quite significantly from what I gather, even in the YouTube comments, which I read a few of. Um, yeah. You know, like uh, where, whether they still go back. It's, it's like where, where you go see while she sleeps now, are they going to play it much from This Is The Six? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah, so. you're absolutely right. It's, it's been my biggest concern for a very, very long time. And because they're now going to be at a festival that I'm going to, that's why it's kind of like, okay, this is my chance. If it turns out I don't get anything from Take you, uh, yeah. to Disguise. You've got your best chance of it, haven't you? Because, and I mean, if they, if they don't do it at a festival environment, then they're never going to do it. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if this is greatest hits time, you're there in front of a crowd of people that have been fans of you maybe for a very long time. If you're not going to pull out this album at all, then you know they're never going to touch it again. Also, also like, have you haven't heard it? Open with this for me, please. That lights off, that intro, that da, 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 that will blow fucking, that will blow up, man. Is that, open is that with the, it. Is that so they open with it and then you can leave and go and watch someone else? No, because <laughs> the problem is, is there are loads of other songs on that yeah. album that I also adore just as much. So it's kind of like, okay, this was just a, you know, we Slam Dunk's not to like April next year. I uh, know, is it later than that? Is it April? June? June? June. I can't remember. Is it June? Yeah, anyway, it's, it's next uh, year. No, it's, no it's, it's literally the one in the middle. May. Oh, it's mate. There you go. The one in the middle. Close <laughs> enough. Um, so we'll, um, be, we'll, we'll probably return to this battle reactions uh, and Shikari with a different song because the other one, if you know, I'd really like to play him is Adieu, of course, which is quite a right. very different song to uh, Mothership. So don't listen to that before and keep that in mind um, for myself future. No, I, I get it. Here's the thing. You even saying that you liked any of it is like no hype, no, no, hy- no hyperbole at all. Um, there's no expectations. I how I feel about this track is it's pure adrenaline for me. It's an adrenaline rush that lifts my soul every time I hear it. It makes me feel ten feet tall. It excites me. I love every part of it. the parts you don't like. I fucking adore as much as right. every other part. Um, you know, so for me, like it's one of those where I can't. It's it, yeah, we're just. And those parts were sitting complete opposite yeah. sides of the table, and that's fine. Yeah, it, it's a strange one. Like, like uh, you know, I, I would put it down as a win for you, mm. um, but like obviously it, it's borderline, of course, you know. But it's Again. still a win because the, just the, the you know, if I strip it really back to basics, I know it sounds like such a shitty positive comment to make, but like it's way better than I thought it was going to be. And there were lots of moments in it that I quite liked enough mm. that I'd be like, oh, it'd be cool to see this live. I don't want to see anything else, but like <laughs> I'm going to see this one live. So that that to me is like is enough in it that yeah, I'm not going to probably be listening to it on my way to work tomorrow or anything like that. But I'll I'll be like, oh yeah, I know that one in the Shikari song. Um, that's not too bad. Yeah, I, I don't know. It seems like a weird thing. I'm not trying to be a dick about them. Like I yeah, I can see what I don't know. Maybe if maybe if I'd listened to them in that era, the one thing mm. it did confirm to me though is that I I do feel like even though I've never really given them a chance, that my judgment of them stylistically was kind of what i thought yeah like, okay, obviously I, I can't prove that it's just in my head like what i thought they would sound like was kind of like what what they actually sounded like you know so back in the day no. when i was cool and i was listening to at the gates and stuff like that i can see why i didn't listen to bands like these <laughs> yeah i can't even remember when this one came my way it certainly wasn't in the year okay. 2007 uh but it wasn't too long after on that front i mean like like you said yourself uh if you're not being a dick because as always as always folks um brendan explains himself quite clearly by detail of what he likes what he doesn't like and why he doesn't like it except for when he gets stuck on lyrics to the extent he did in this one yeah. even i found that irritating so <laughs> let us know what you think 
Do you agree with me? That it's just literally an absolute banger. Do you agree with Brendan where you kind of, you know, you have your issues. You like parts of it, you don't like parts of it. Let us know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?